my name is, um, I'm, uh, half of the, uh, hello, uh, I'm, okay, okay, hi, um, my name is Damon Alba, and I'm very pleased to be part of the YouTube homepage takeover. Uh, this is, uh, Jamie Hewlett. Hi. This, this is my mate. <laughs> hello. We've been working together for, for the last few years, uh, on this kind of, uh, eclectic thing um, which started in China became an opera um, is now a, an album it involves electronics animation kung fu crazy contortionists acrobatics kung fu a lot of music um, flying a lot of flying Jamie's designed everything a lot of Flying, Kung Fu, we made a little film called Monkey Bee and we just want to sort of take you through some of the influences which obviously YouTube is a perfect place to illustrate that because you know it's an encyclopedia that every time you go to a heading it involves a lot of Kung Fu, um, flying, a lot of flying which if, if when I was a kid if we'd have had something like this I, I, I'd have never, I'd have never been off YouTube. Oh yeah, YouTube! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> the thing, the thing that got this all kind of fought, fired our imagination in the first place was 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 a, a, a series from Japan in the late seventies, early eighties that, that that was shown in England uh, called Monkey. Um, and it became a huge hit amongst people of our generation. So we're just about to have a look. A little look. Monkey magic. Monkey magic. In fact, in fact, part of our research into China for, for monkey journey to the west came on two particular trips where we, we travelled with uh, uh, Shi Zhen, the director, and um, he basically showed us his China. And this is an interesting uh, YouTube clip. This is basically, we saw a production of, of uh, and he Monkey. He says a small play performed in a small town. Well, well, it was definitely a, quite a small town that we were in. I well, don't know if it was probably the The place really we same. went to was the last company who still yeah. do uh, but Chinese, really similar to this. Chinese shadow puppet theatre. They were the last ex existing company who still does it because it's a real dying art form. And we saw a wonderful performance of Monkey, a very short performance of Monkey, done with... Uh, Shadow puppetry. But what's the problem with going behind the screen and you see what they're actually having to do? No. Really complicated. They have all of these different sticks coming out, maybe sometimes up to sort of six or seven sticks coming out of each hand that operate sometimes two or three characters and different joints of the characters. And they're literally just doing this, moving around. And what you see in front of the screen is this, is this just really incredible sort of real-time animation, I suppose. And there's loads of these people lined up, and they're all moving forward and changing position and coming in and doing their different parts. I think this is monkey fighting the uh, bull dragon king, by the looks of things. I might be wrong, but that definitely looks like monkey. To, to see authentic Chinese shadow puppetry would really become impossible before long. I found it on YouTube. We're looking at um, some um, propaganda posters and just, it's just the colours that they use and, 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 and the sort of expressions. That there's a sort of cr crazy optimism and sort of stoicism. Yeah. And behind it there was kind of sort of, it was this was it, you know, they weren't even allowed any books except, except official books and in fact at one point there was only one book because it started again they destroyed all culture and started again with mouse as a real book. <laughs> we are um, finding out some information, some more information about the Kung Fu, um, flying, a lot of flying, um, um, famous opera director uh, Chen Shizhen. Shizhen is a He's a very interesting uh, individual. He's a world-renowned opera director now, but he started off life as a street kid um, in Beijing. And Monkey 
Journey to the West was, was a book that he found under his uncle's uh, mattress. Because at that, that time, as I said earlier, all books were banned. I mean, everything. You, 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 the, the, the very idea of YouTube just was that would have coming from a different universe. You know, the, the idea of this kind of sort of extraordinary access to, to everything, good and bad. Um, just didn't exist. So, it's, so this book was like a, a beacon of light. It was, it was the one bit of kind of sort of colour and, and and sort of reason inside this mad world. So, when he came to us with it, it was um, it came with a lot of baggage. Um, so, travelling around China, researching with him was 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 a very illuminating experience because uh, he was kind of going back through his childhood as well some of it is extremely painful. We were very fortunate to, to yeah. have someone like him to, to, to sort of take us on that journey because it's not an easy country if you don't speak Mandarin to, um, to begin to understand. Uh, sorry about that. This, this, is, this is the cameraman. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, I got a bit carried away. Hang on. Hang on. World class YouTube moment by Damon Albarn. <laughs> Break the bed, save the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs>